this chase at East Coast Gear Supply, we're looking at an 8 inch clamshell uh, found in the 05 and up Tacomas, FJ Cruisers, and Forerunners. This is in response to a thread on Tacoma World about people having a vibration problem and a roaring sound on their left side coming from the CV axle or the differential. I've said that there's a design flaw in what uh, Toyota did and we're going to kind of look at that and show you guys what's happening. I've got the carrier here uh, with the CV shaft installed in it and a dial indicator showing uh, how much movement is in the shaft. And it's about 50 thousands and you can see how much that is just by looking at it. Now we're going to go over and look at some carriers. One's the 8 inch clamshell and the other one is just a Dana 30 front to kind of show you the difference. But you can see how much movement is in this spider gear side to side. And the reason for that is Toyota didn't machine uh, the carriers. It's just cast in there and there's a big big hole right here and the spider gear doesn't really fit tight in there. Moving over to the Dana carrier, there's no slop whatsoever. Um, you know, maybe ten thousandths, five thousandths. And it's a nice clean machined area for the spider gear to sit in. Whereas the Toyota gear has a real short shoulder here and there's no machined area to kind of center that and keep it tight. So with your CV shaft installed, that spider gear is supporting it as much as the needle bearing is. Here's a shot of the needle bearing. Um, but this is not a very tight fit. It's just a loose supporting feature. So you can see that the CV still has a lot of slop. And when you add a lift kit to that, uh, it's exaggerated how much that's going to run out and put pressure on that needle bearing. Uh, the solution for this, I believe, is we can install a bushing here instead of uh, the needle bearing and we can tighten up that clearance. Uh, it'll be easy to see if we can get the slop out of it uh, by doing the same test again after we uh, machine a bushing to go in there. And we'd use a oil impregnated bronze bushing, something that can uh, deal with the speed of that CV shaft. Um, if that doesn't uh, solve the problem, there's a couple other options we could look at, um, but it might get too expensive to really make it worth it. And ARBs uh, do use a bushing here instead of a needle bearing. Um, and you know, going to an ARB style locker may solve that problem for you. Uh, but a lot of guys don't want to spend the money up front and maybe it's just a daily driver and they need it uh, to not have the annoying uh, noise or vibration. So hopefully we can have this bushing done in a few weeks and uh, we can test it out and have some of you guys look at it.